Hello everyone, my name is Daniel Lamon. I am the producer and programmer for Monash University Centre for Theatre and Performance and we're here today to talk about a new partnership that's been struck between the Centre for Theatre and Performance and the Melbourne Fringe. Uh, with me today I have Simon Abrahams who is the Creative Director and CEO of the Melbourne Fringe and Stacey Holman-Jones who is the Director of the Centre for Theatre and Performance. Before we begin with questions about the partnership, uh, tell us a bit more about the Melbourne Fringe and about the CTP for any uh, viewers who don't know those two organisations. Well, if they don't know what the Melbourne Fringe is, where, where have you been? <laughs> um, but uh, Melbourne Fringe is, uh, we're an organisation that's been around for 38 years that's devoted to cultural democracy. So we're devoted to um, enabling any, anyone um, to express themselves. Most people know us for our giant festival, the Melbourne Fringe Festival, which runs for 18 days, um, uh, normally in October, but this year in November, uh, that... Last year had um, 450 events in uh, 150 venues, um, about 3,000 artists uh, were involved and 350,000 people came, so uh, it's a festival of scale. We also run a venue at um, Trades Hall, we run a whole series of sector leadership programs uh, and probably other things that uh, we'll talk about soon. And the Centre for Theatre and Performance at Monash University is part of the Faculty of Arts. Um, it is a diverse program that trains undergraduates, honour students and postgraduate students in the relationship between theatrical and performance practice and research skills and training. Uh, we've got about 120 undergraduate majors. We've got a very robust postgraduate program. And uh, really, the unique thing about us, I believe, is that we are committed to giving our students a really rigorous and solid academic base for their performance investigations. We've got graduates who have worked in performing arts in Australia and internationally. We've also got graduates who work in a number of industries including business, medicine, law, you name it. So we're, train we're training the future leaders of not only Melbourne and Australia but, but really the world and so this is a great partnership that we've got together because we do we do think about ourselves as a kind of broadly socially committed group of people here at the CTP. Um, so first of all let's just talk about what are some of the key features of this partnership between the CTP and the Melbourne Fringe and what are the opportunities that it offers for both Monash students and artists and patrons at the Melbourne Fringe? Well we do some teaching into the course mm -hmm. um, which is fantastic to be kind of so practical and hands-on and to meet a new generation of theatre makers. Um, we have a whole internship program as well. Right, 16 internships in S fact. Yeah. But they're practical hands-on internships, um, doing some programming with us, working in our artist team, in our venues team, working on some of our big keynote projects uh, with our marketing guys, so doing some, uh, some amazing work there. Great work integrated learning for all of our students and really kind of hitting on some of those key employability skills, not only in the industry but in all kinds of different um, workplaces. And so this is really practical, applicable experience for these students when they move into the next phase of their careers. And then Daniel, you, you as you know, <laughs> there is an outcome uh, of pr projects that I think you are coordinating that will see um, student work um, profiled in the festival um, in November as well. Yeah, we've got some amazing artists put together to make those works with our students. Looks like completely digital work. Which actually leads into my next question, which is in what way are CTP and the Fringe supporting the uh, access to digital work and digital content for artists and audiences? So we've developed at Melbourne Fringe a whole um, digital platform that will be a feature of our um, festival this year. And so that the aim of that is to create an experience for artists and for audiences that is not just a series of YouTube links. You know, we want to create a whole kind of digital environment that um, they could interact with. And that's really exciting uh, for our students and for Monash to be kind of in on the ground floor in terms of thinking about how to respond to the limitations of our form. And what's a digital first version of that, you know? Yeah. How do we create a version of theatre that is engaging to people at home, that they want to watch, that they want to interact and with? And it just really explodes the audience as well. If you really can do that right, then the work's going to reach so many more people. What are some of the values and philosophies that the CTP and the Melbourne Fringe share that form the kind of basis of this partnership? It was really kind of an easy partnership if you think about, you know, coming together. Um, I think the things that were really appealing 
to the CTP and to our students were the fringe's commitment to being innovative and to really trying to push the envelope in terms of what the possibilities are for creativity. And also, I think that our commitment to um, making work that's accessible, both for artists and for audience, has always been something that's brought us together. And now that we're in the situation that we're in, it's really good to have teamed up in terms of those values. Yeah, I agree with that. And I, I think for us, likewise, teaming up with Monash, it was about um, rigor. We know that um, Monash CTP really has a rigorous approach to um, working with students and to thinking deeply and critically about contemporary art making. Mm. So that felt like a really important fit for us. Mm. And uh, the other key value, I think, was um, uh, a commitment to a, a next generation of theatre makers, yeah. which is something that, you know, we believe in so strongly at Melbourne Fringe is how we can equip our future theatre makers um, to be making the most extraordinary, exciting work, and we know that's uh, something you believe in as well. Yeah, that's right. Why do you think partnerships like this are important for the arts in mm. Australia? Well, Simon's hit on one thing. I think that's really important. I mean, Monash is obviously an academic institution. We're interested in training up students who are critical thinkers, who have the kind of problem solving and emotional intelligence capabilities. They're going to allow them to meet challenges in their careers. It also means that they get a rigorous research training. And so coming together with Fringe, it's, a, it's just a great opportunity to show our students and to show the world how both intellectual rigor and practice practice-based rigor come together. Yeah, I agree mm. with that. And I, I think surely, you know, if we've learnt nothing else, is that we can't do anything on our own. You know, um, a, a festival is made up of um, literally thousands of partnerships. Um, and so we know that a partnership like this that actually supports student learning um, but has really practical outcomes as well and, and has performance outcomes, it has other event outcomes as well, um, it's something that we couldn't do on our own, so we're able to, to kind of partner with Monash to uh, to really deliver something that I think we couldn't do separately, but together we can we can make something pretty extraordinary happen. Yeah. What are your hopes for the future relationship between the CTP and the Fringe? I'm really hopeful for it for a research-based relationship. Mm. I, I'm really hoping that um, together we'll be able to, you know, have something that, that really um, can change the face of... Um, of our understanding of the work that we do. I think um, th the idea of academic research is to push those boundaries. Mm -hmm. we, we really want to, you know, find what's happening at the f those fringes and, and bring it in. You know, the thing about research and something like the fringe is you really are working at the leading edge of knowledge and of practice. And the thing that I think um, is really exciting about this partnership with fringe is to deepen both of those in relationship to one another. Yeah, I think so too. And thinking about, you know, because this year started not the way we'd quite imagined, <laughs> I think, you know, or any of us had imagined, I think, you know, it's interesting to see how some of those things will evolve and what we're currently having is digital um, uh, internships, what happens when they go live or digital performance outcomes, what happens when those Monash students are, you know, in Trades Hall, you know, what kind of performances can we have on campus here? I think there's all sorts of possibilities and places for us to go, so time will tell. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for taking your time to have a chat with us and tell us about this ridiculously exciting <laughs> partnership. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. Thanks.